Hello everyone, so welcome, welcome back. Now we're in quarter four, yay! We're almost done with the school year. So our topic for today is all about locating places of the earth. So here are the objectives that we have to accomplish after this video lesson. So this video lesson will be divided into two parts. But if it can, yeah, two parts, two parts. So let's start with the what I know portion. So the first part is all about the latitude. And this is the pretest for the latitude topic. So what do you call the horizontal lines found in the globe? That's latitude. What do you call to the great circle that is halfway between the northern and southern hemisphere? That's equator. Which of the following is the latitude of the equator? It's zero degree. Which of the following is considered as the greatest possible latitude found in the globe? That's 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south. What is the climate experienced by countries that are located within or near the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn? That's tropical. What do you call the latitude between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle? That's northern temperate zone. What is the latitude of point 2? So that's 45 degrees north. What is the latitude of point 5? So that's 15 degrees north. What is the latitude of point 9? That's 45 degrees south. Which of the following describes latitude? So its lines do not meet or intersect. Lines are parallel to each other and lines that run horizontally from east to west. What's letter D? Which of the following best describes the polar region or frigid zones? So it's these areas within the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. It is cold all year round and even during the summer months, it does not feel like summer at all. And people who choose to live in these areas have to deal with temperatures that never go above 10 degrees Celsius. The latitude of an area greatly affects its climate, which of the following describes the relationship between latitude and climate. So we have the closer the latitude to the poles, the colder the climate, and the closer the latitude to the equator, the warmer the climate. Which of the following does not describe the lines of latitude? So we have lines are not parallel to each other, and it does not form circles and it meet at the poles. That's letter D. 14. Urbigin was asked by her science teacher on how to measure the lines of latitude. She answered to always begin with the equator. Is her answer correct? The answer is yes, because it represents zero degrees. In a report represent, presented by Ethan, he explained that the Philippines experience says a colder climate for it is just nearly above the equator. So do you think Ethan is correct about the, his explanation? No, because areas that are nearly above the equator will experience the tropical climate. Alright, so we are now in lesson one. It's all about the latitude. For the what's in portion, my one to four questions tayo dito and nandito rin ang kanyang mga answers. You may pause this video to go over to our answers. For the what's new portion, so how will you define equator in your own words? So it's basically, for me, Kasi in our own workshop, it divides the globe into two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So what are the two poles of the globe, the north pole and the south pole? Differentiate northern and southern hemisphere in your own words. So northern hemisphere is the half of the globe from the equator to the upper portion of the globe. In your own words to say so you you may you may base your definition based on what you see so are these lines of latitude imaginary yes they're imaginary because you cannot see them they are just being i mean drawn there for us to 
approximate, give the approximate coordinates of each, uh, the location of the different places. So you may answer the remaining questions on your own. Then given the rubrics. For the what is it? So this is basically the topic. So Earth's grid or coordinate system can be described and determined by means of the position or location of any place on the Earth's surface. So latitude is the measurement on a global map of a place north or south of the equator. So it is measured in degrees. So it's said this comes out in the what what I know portion. The greatest possible latitudes are 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south. So always remember that the latitudes are parallel. When you say parallel, they do not meet each other. Hindi talaga siya nagmi-meet. So, equator is the great circle around the Earth that is equidistant from the geographical poles and lies in a plane perpendicular to the Earth's axis. So, it divides the Earth halfway into the northern and southern hemispheres at zero degrees latitude. So, the starting point for latitude is the equator at latitude zero degrees. So, zero degrees is equator. Then, the so North Pole 90 degrees north. South Pole, 90 degrees south. Alright, so, meron tayong different lines of latitude. Itong nandito, Arctic Circle siya. Then, Tropic of Cancer. So, basically, si Arctic Circle is located in 66, around 66.5 uh, degrees north. Si Tropic of Cancer naman, nasa 23.5 degrees north siya from the equator, which is 0 degrees. Si Tropic of Capricorn is 23.5 degrees south. Si Antarctic Circle is 66.5 degrees south. So, yan ang kanilang mga different lines of latitude. Nandito. So, the closer the latitude is to the equator, the warmer the climate. And you will experience summer in this area. And when you say the closer the place to the Arctic and the Antarctic Circle, the colder or they will experience the four seasons, the countries here in the Arctic Circle. In between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle and so with the um, Arctic Circle. Let's read this for us to really have a clear explanation. Between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle is the Northern Temperate Zone. Okay, nasaan si Tropic of Cancer? Nandito. Si Arctic Circle, nandito. So, in between, na, uh, this is, or, this is what we call the Northern Temperate Zone. And between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle, the Southern Temperate Zone. So, countries that, uh, or in these zones, uh, have or can experience the four seasons. So this is what I mentioned a while ago. And the areas within the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle are called the polar regions. So ito nandito sa Arctic Antarctic Circle dito, and the Arctic Circle we call them the polar regions or frigid, uh, frigid zones. So they are, they have to deal with the temperatures. The people living in these areas have to deal with the uh, um, temperatures that never go above 10 degrees Celsius. So it is really cold all year round. So even though summer months na, hindi talaga nila mafil yung summer doon. And the closer as uh, I mentioned a while ago the closer the place to the equator so the Philippines is somehow located near the equator so 
we experience the dry and the wet season. Unlike the the countries in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, and so with the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle, they will experience the four seasons. All right. So let's proceed to the what's more. So in the what's more portion, so I go over nyo na lang itong video para sa kanyang answer. So hindi po pwedeng may i-write si B. Chris dito kasi mawawala itong label. Mawawala siya lahat. So pakilagyan nyo na lang ng degrees. Symbol na degrees ang in between sa number and sa direction. And for the what I have learned as well, Again, as I have mentioned, you may pause this video. And for the what I can do, kasi hindi pwede i-write si degree, symbol na degree. So, what I, I, what I made is, I just wrote the whole word for degrees. So, you may write the symbol, itong parang circle na nasa, nakalipad. So, you may write it. And for the assessment, we're almost done for the part one. So what do you call the latitude between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle? So to Southern Temperate Zone. Okay? Kasi si between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle, Northern Temperate Zone yun. So ito, letter D ang answer. What do you call the Great Circle of the Globe Equator? What is the latitude of Tropic of Capricorn? That's 23.5 degrees south. What do you call the imaginary line that divides the places on the earth in a north-south direction? So that's latitude. Which of the following is the latitude of Arctic Circle? 66.5 degrees north. What is the annual average temperature of tropical countries like the Philippines? So it's above 18 degrees Celsius. For number 7 to 9, locate the latitude of the numbered points given in the globe below. Latitude only ha. So never mind the longitude muna. So what is the latitude of point 1? So it's 60 degrees north. Kapag sabihan nyo naman kayo, ano rin ang kanyang longitude? Of course, nandito, 15 degrees west. What is the latitude of point 3? So, it's 30 degrees north. What is the latitude of point 4? That's 15 degrees north. Alright, all of the following describe latitude except lines that run vertically from north to south. So, hindi na siya latitude. This describes the longitude already. Which of the following best describes the areas that belong to the tropics? So, areas in this zone experience a tropical climate, and people who choose to live in these areas experience an annual average temperature of above 18 degrees Celsius. Which of the following best describes the features of latitude? So, we have the equators at zero at latitude 0 degrees, the starting point for latitude is the equator. At the north pole, the latitude is 90 degrees north. At the south pole, the latitude is 90 degrees south. 13. The latitude of an area affect, greatly affects its climate. So, which of the following does not describe the relationship? So, it's 1 and 3. And 14, 15, uh, we have the answers here. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching this video lesson for quarter one, week one, part one. So for our next video lesson, let's have quarter one, week one pa rin, part two, all about la longitude. And in that part, we're also going to look at both the latitude and the longitude. So thank you so much for giving your time with me. Uh, Thank you for watching this video lesson. So, till next time, bye bye.